Hello, hello. Welcome back. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy. And as always, it is wonderful to have you with me. Now, I was busy working away on a project and I did something quite by accident. And I thought, do you know what? That's actually a really happy accident. I'm going to share that with my wonderful subbies. So, as you can see, I've got here one of the mini file folders that we made the other day and I've got a fabric sample in it and I've got a number at the bottom now this was not what I intended to do at all when I started what I was doing was I was cutting out these lovely little things from the Tim Holtz I think it's a correspondent die or something it's the one you know where you tuck things oh it goes that way actually where you tuck things in and you have the label on the bottom and because i had a couple of pieces of this file folder lying around i thought you know what it will work really nice in that give me that nice creamy card so i pulled them down and i started to put them through my dye machine and what I realized was <laughs> that yes it gave me the wonderful card but look at the lovely hole it left now this first one I had actually put in double layered so I've got it twice but then once I realized I actually then opened it out and only put it on the one side and initially what I thought was, what a perfect photo frame. Because then you could sort of write in the name of whoever was in the photo. However, what I very quickly realised was that of all my photos, these are the biggest. And they're just not big enough. Because you get that big white border. Now, if you like... Let's move it over a bit. Get rid of that. If you like... The white boulder then you probably could just about make this work but you lose the boulder at the top and the bottom and you've got it at the sides and I just wasn't happy with it so I started hunting around to see what kind of large image that I could put in there and I pulled out bits of kits that I have um floating around on my desk and yeah you can put that in there and obviously trims up that's quite a nice image you could write about you know an advert or whatever it was but i still wasn't happy and funny enough i had lots of bits of fabric on my desk because what i was working on was a sewing journal so i thought oh i wonder if these could be like fabric samples so I've got a piece of fabric and yeah, I think it works really, really well. So is another little use your stuff for something else video. Let's put him up there out of the way for a minute. OK, and if you weren't listening in the beginning, let's run you through this again. So I had a piece of card from file folder. It was the same card that we used the envelope punch board to make the mini file folders for. There is a previous video for this. So then I just took it, I opened it out, put it into my big shot or whatever your cutting die is. I placed that on there, that on there and run it through the machine. Then I've obviously got these pieces that I can use at a later date. But more importantly for what we're doing right here, right now, I've got this lovely frame. Now on this one, I did put a piece of paper in it purely because I'd cut both, I'd cut right through because I didn't know I was doing what I'm now doing. So this time I'm not going to put a piece of paper through. I'm going to use the cream background. So as always, before we do anything else, the first job of the day is to get inked up. So I've got my old book my glue book whatever and I've got my walnut stain distressing this one here and 
I've got my brush and I'm just going to set about making these edges a little bit grungy because you know me I do like a grungy edge so has everybody had a great weekend I see there was a number of you jumped on to the Facebook group and did the fun sorry it's a bit glue on there I don't want it sticking um, the fun weekend challenge you seem to have had a lot of fun with that so maybe that's something we could consider um, continuing as a bit of a regular thing if you're like me and you've not got a whole lot going on especially with being stuck at home at the moment the uh, it might be a nice little you know weekend novelty as it were so I think yeah I'll probably do it again this weekend see how many people take it up and if you want it carried on then obviously we can carry it on if you don't then obviously we don't have to it's you know there's no laws here it's all about fun and games really and as I've said many times before it's only paper it really doesn't matter so I've got it eat up and then all I'm going to do now I did actually find a piece of fabric that was basically the right size so I'm just offering it in double checking you see this is marginally too big which is awesome because it's better than being too small so I'm just going to get a very rough idea of where I want to trim that and I'm just going to cut that down there in a relatively straight line let's not discuss how bad I am at cutting straight lines I say that in nearly every video you must be really bored of it by now and then about whoops about there I believe I'm going to turn it over because I can't cut from the left as it were trim that off let's try it again and there look we have a fabric sample obviously get rid of these bits we don't want them okay so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my prick stick and I'm going to cover, I'm going to get rid of this page because this page is sticky and I don't want it. I don't want it. Not a bit of paper. Right, so now I'm just going to glue up the frame. Okay. And then all of the middle on the top half, not the bottom half because I want to put my number on there. But we do want that middle bit to catch and the edge and obviously the bottom okay I'm now gonna put my fabric in here I'm not gonna press it down just yet because I want to check that I've got it in the right place for the hole yeah you see I haven't see so you've got to be a little bit careful let's put that try and line it up with the open side there let's try that yeah see that's perfect so press my fabric down make sure that's properly stuck just get rid of these odd little bits because otherwise they're going to show through our number hole we don't want that Okay, and then just like that, now that actually looks like you can see the file folder, but it's actually the yellow in the fabric, so that's fine. Stick him down, okay, and then I'm just going to use a number stamp to 
stamp in the bottom there. So black archival, jet black, and whoops, just a number. Okay, I'm gonna stamp the ink on and then I'm gonna line it up so it's as near to the central as I can get. There you go. And of course, you can go as far as you want to with this. If you know about fabrics, then obviously you could write perhaps a fabric company name. You know, you might say William Morris or whatever. He did fabrics. Or maybe Liberty. Something, I don't know, whatever. But there you go. So now that edge just looks, oh no, I just hadn't pressed it down properly. And I just figure that in a sewing journal, these would be, let's trim this edge up, because that's a little bit off skew there. Sorry, um, I just think that, you know, in a sewing journal, they would be a great little addition. Now, obviously, if unlike me, you've got large pictures, then you can put the photographs in that I originally intended to. Or maybe if you've got large butterfly stamp or die, then, you know, you may want to use it more as a specimen card and then have it straight through both sides like I did. Now, in case you haven't got this die, okay, because I know not everybody will have it, it is at the end of the day only a rectangle and a label type shape. So if you wanted to do this and you haven't got that die, then my answer to you would be to simply, let's pull this off. Now, I've not checked this, so I apologise if there's any offensive words. So let's fold it over like this. Okay, let's give ourselves a tab. Just quickly, so it's... sitting the way we want it to. There you go, you've got your, your file folder. If I ink that edge, it'll make it a little bit easier for you to see against the page. There you go, you've got your file folder, okay? So if you haven't got a die, then I would simply take a ruler and a craft knife. Now, I'm not going to do it because obviously I don't want to use this. But I would just draw a line or cut a line. Let's do it that way as well and see how far we want to go. We want to go to, it's a bit difficult on my tray because it's got a lip. So obviously the ruler's not lying flat. So it's about that long. Okay. And just you like here i'm using the words as a bit of a guide didn't do that very well and there you go so obviously you can cut out that square and then with regard to the label do you remember we um we used the label stamp on our ledger so you could just stamp on i haven't got it out and then when you stamp on, you'll have that kind of shape. And then obviously you can just cut that out as well. So you can do it without that. It's just that that's what I was using when I discovered stroke had the idea. So there you are. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I hope there's been some inspiration there for you. Have a great afternoon stroke evening. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.